Okay, well first, can we just talk about how annoying it is to find something cute and comfortable to wear at this stage of pregnancy? When it is 90, I think the high today is 93 degrees. Ooh, trying to find something you guys to put on right now was stupid. Anyways, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kara, if you're new here. Um, I am 24 weeks pregnant yesterday with my second daughter and um i just wanted to do a little pregnancy update there's not a ton of new stuff but you know we all like to kind of see where everybody's at with each other so again i'm gonna go ahead and start with her stats on the bump app this is my favorite app that I use. I have a few, but the bump is my favorite one. Um, so like I said, I was 24 weeks yesterday, so I'm 24 plus one today. Um, at 24 weeks, baby is the size of a cantaloupe. Baby is 11.8 inches and 1.3 pounds. So a lot of what it's talking about right now is how babies just kind of like continuing to develop in like their looks especially and like really starting to plump up um 24 weeks your baby is pretty fully developed um from what i know so that's really exciting um i did have a 3d ultrasound like at 20 weeks so i mean it's she probably looks way different now but you could already see she just looked like a baby in there you know a skinny baby but still um, that was super cute. So a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. So I was talking about last time how my weight gain was really bugging me. Like I have been gaining more than what I anticipated or what I had gained with um, my first daughter. But I've really been like really trying hard to like be very mindful about what I'm eating. And then my workouts I'm doing, I have a lot of energy. So I'm doing um, longer more intense workouts. I'm not like taking it to a point where like my body can't handle it, but I just am feeling like I have the energy to really be active and you know, to, I just think it's good to know what I'm putting my body. Like I'm not totally restricting my calories, but I am trying to stay under a certain amount so that I know because I don't just want to stuff my face all the time just because I'm pregnant. I weighed myself yesterday and I didn't gain any weight in the past week, which I feel like is good because I have like, if I, even if I were to like lose a pound one week, I wouldn't be like fearful that that was something that was wrong just because I do have some weight that I could probably lose. That's just fat. So, you know, that's, I'm not super worried about that. So at this point at 24 weeks, I have gained 23 pounds and with my first daughter I capped out at I think 35 or 37 pounds so I'm really hoping to keep it at 35 which I think I can do as long as I'm being you know continuing to just really be aware of what I'm eating and doing um I've been drinking 100 to 120 ounces if not more of water every day um, and I feel like that helps too. So that's where we're at with the weight gain. Um, I think I have my first craving. Last time I was pregnant, it was also a summer pregnancy and I craved ice all the time. Like I just want to eat it. And the other day I was driving back from a photo shoot and I had a cup of ice. Like I, I had a cup of water and they like totally filled it all with ice. And then I just found myself eating all of the ice and I was like talking to my husband I was like I think this is where it all goes downhill like I really just think I'm cra having my ice craving and I don't normal like if I have a drink and it has ice in it and I'm done with it I throw it away but now I'm drinking my drinks and there's ice left in the bottom and I'm eating it so I mean that's not a bad craving to have but I just remember with my first pregnancy I would make my husband like we'd be at a gas station I'd just be like can you go please get me like a large cup of ice <laughs> So I feel like that's going to be something that is happening again this time. I am totally able to feel like limbs now from the outside. Um, I don't think it happened this quickly with my first daughter, but I also think I had a, and I remember having an anterior placenta with her. So I think it was not as easy to feel her, but at night, especially I'll just lay there with my hands on my belly and I could just like feel like an elbow or a leg or whatever it is. Um, instead of just like a little, you know, punch or kick, it's an actual, like, 
I could feel like a foot or a whatever. So that's kind of cool. That's something new since my last update I gave you guys. Um, okay, so let's talk about like the main, the biggest thing that's happened since I last um, updated, since my last pregnancy update. So I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, it was a video call, so that was kind of annoying. I like to go in, but it was with the doctor that's doing my C-section. It was basically an appointment for me to, I mean, it was my 24 week appointment, but I'm meeting the doctor and having my C-section consultation. So a little backstory with my last pregnancy, I ended up at 40 weeks at my doctor's appointment. I went to at 40 weeks in four days. I was diagnosed with preeclampsia and then I was induced immediately and I had her the following day. So I had her, so um, I had her at almost 41 weeks and I was like pumped full of magnesium and all the things they do for preeclampsia. So I talked about that with my doctor yesterday and um, she's not worried about my blood pressure right now because um, so far it's been pretty good. I've, I had one that was elevated. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna give me a blood pressure, not give me, she's gonna have me go get a blood pressure cuff and I'm gonna do that today just so that I can monitor it. Again, she's not worried about it, but she's also making sure that at my next appointment I can actually go in to the office so that they can do all my vitals and just make sure that everything is good, um, you know, like actually being seen and stuff. But she does not want me to go past 39 weeks. She doesn't want to increase the risk of preeclampsia, which it's more common with your first pregnancy. So there's not necessarily like a higher risk for me to get it this time. But the other thing is she cannot do a planned C-section before 39 weeks. So basically my C-section is going to be almost exactly 39 weeks unless I go into labor early. If my blood pressure starts to rise or if I start to go into labor early, then obviously they'll do the section. The section. The, obviously she will do the C-section um, then as long as it's after. She will do it as long as it's after 36 weeks. If it's before 36 weeks and I'm having issues, then I'll go to another hospital where they have better NICUs and stuff like that. I just kind of talked about my concerns with her. I'm traveling a few times before I give birth. So I asked her if, you know, if I should be worried about my blood pressure. Um, one of my flights is like six hours. So she just said, you know, as long as you're number doesn't go up, doesn't go above this then we really shouldn't have a problem so that is like the biggest thing that i'm going to be doing right now is keeping track of that so i'm going to go today and i'm going to go get a blood pressure cuff um she tried to get it prescribed to me but apparently insurance just isn't covering them right now so which whatever that's fine i have no idea how much they cost so it doesn't matter though i'd rather be safe than sorry so that was a good phone call i was really excited because now i know that like i will not have my baby later than this date and most likely she will come on that date because like I said, I did not go into labor <laughs> naturally and I was overdue um, by almost a week when I had her. So, but other than that, I'm feeling so good right now. Like I, my back is not, I'm not having my back pain. I go to, I go get my massage and um, adjustment at the chiropractor tomorrow. So I've been doing that like every two weeks. Um, if I feel good, I push it back a week which I probably should have done. I don't feel like I totally need it, but I've been, like I said, like my workouts have been making me, I've been doing like heavier workouts. So I'm really sore. So I, you know, feel like the massage would be good. <laughs> but um, in that area, like everything is good. Um, I have not prepared for the baby anymore at all. Um, I have like a list of things that I need for her, but she really does not need a ton of things because we have so much stuff from our first daughter so i'm not super worried about that i'll probably start buying that stuff um maybe i'm what i'm six months pregnant so maybe when by the time i'm like seven months i'll be like okay let's get our crap together and then the other thing that we need to do is i'll probably show this in a vlog but the way our room is set up you can see that we have two doors right here so we can't have um a nightstand and if you've had a baby before, a newborn, you know that you need a nightstand <laughs> to put all your stuff on um, for like the middle of the night. So we are going to, um, we are going to do some rearranging in the bedroom. <sighs> it's going to be hard because our room is just really funky, but um, to make some room for the bassinet and for me to have a nightstand um, to be able to do all that stuff in the middle of the night. But besides that, I feel like preparing, like we, I feel like we pretty much are prepared. Um... I don't think we'll really need to like get our crap together until like a month before the baby gets here. But 
anyways i think that's everything if again if you guys are close to me or you're having a baby around the same time um comment below and we can be friends and if you want to follow along with my pregnancy then just subscribe to me i'm gonna keep documenting my whole pregnancy so next time i think of probably be i'm liking the two week thing so maybe 26 weeks um if i have like an update to give otherwise my next doctor's appointment is my glucose test which last time i did the first the one hour test and then i had to do the three hour test um so hopefully that doesn't happen again but that's my next appointment so if nothing significant has happened by 26 weeks I might just wait till 28 weeks to do an update but anyways that is it i'm gonna go get my daughter i'm gonna go get a mani pedi today because i need it and i deserve it <laughs> but um i hope you guys are having a great week and i will see you guys next time